<laughs> oh yeah. Just unlocked an epic character. This is gonna be sweet. Check it out. Hello and welcome to Brawl News. I'm your host, Brawl D Pie, Brawl News Guy. I don't know why I keep on saying that. Rumor has it that Shelly is seeking love somewhere outside of the Brawl Stars universe. Wow, Shelly. I don't know what to say. Was Colt not good enough for you or something? A private investigator recently released these photos of Shelly with the Barbarian from Clash of Clans. Shelly claims that she's only friends with the Barbarian, but when I look at the pictures, do you know what I see? Looks of endearment, using body language to portray secret hints. I mean, I personally do not like the way that he is looking at her. And oh my gosh! Ugh! Are they holding hands? I just can't handle this. I can't handle this. Before we move on to more Brawl news, here is a word from our sponsors. Raid Shadow Legends is an epic RPG available on iOS and Android that you've got to try because guess what guys? It's growing big real fast. And it's totally free. It features an amazing storyline, giant bosses, PvP battles, awesome 3D graphics, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. And... I just unlocked this bad boy. <laughs> Seriously though, guys, look how crazy the level of detail this champion has. <laughs> okay, that kinda hurt. <laughs> They've got a special launch tournament with crazy prizes coming up, and if you download Raid through my link, you'll get 50,000 silver immediately and a free epic champion. That's actually really huge for a brand new person jumping into the game, so uh, you don't wanna miss out. I wanted to give Raid Shadow Legends a huge thank you for sponsoring this video. Sponsorships like this go a long way in helping support my channel, so you guys should absolutely try the game out. Believe me guys, it'll certainly be worth your time. You know, like, Kairos time. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos time, and it is time for Brawl News, the most legitimate Brawl News source on the Brawler net. And we're not just the most legitimate news source because we're the only news source on Brawl Stars in the Brawler net. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff to cover, but we'll start off by talking about the upcoming update. Now we know something's coming up, okay? So Frank mentioned that he's testing the new Brawl Stars client. Here's an image of him testing the new Brawler with the character model of Nita's Bear Bruce. Now this tells us literally nothing about the Brawler. I have looked at every possible angle of the picture and it doesn't tell me anything except for possibly what its HP might be somewhat similar to. Even then, there's a good chance they'll probably change it before it's released. Oh, by the way, the power cubes each buff a brawler by 5% of their base health and doing some quick algebra means that this level 10 brawler has an HP of 7,230, which is essentially the same as bulls. So like, that's at least more tanky than most brawlers. Like I said though, there's a good chance that will change. Now I already covered a lot of leaks for this upcoming update in my last episode of Brawl News. If you didn't see that, you better check it out and you better subscribe because why are you missing my videos? I mean. I'm gonna be one of the first sources to get you guys the fastest information possible, along with my buddy Lex, so uh, hit that sub button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. But for right now, let's talk about what we do know coming up in the update and when I think it's gonna happen. Now from the AMA on the Brawl Stars subreddit, we have learned quite a few things. In fact, Frank mentioned specifically the color green, and I don't think it's just going to be something small, okay? When asked if it was going to be just some small spiky thingy in the shop, Frank responded by saying that it's something different and then he winked at us why did you wink at us frank we need to know people have already suggested that this is hinting towards a new rare brawler because green is the background for the rare brawlers that is absolutely possible but i do think that it's going to be something else i think it's going to be something unexpected that we like don't know is going to be changing to brawl stars and for some reason, I don't know, but I'm excited. We also know that balance changes will be coming with the update and not before the update, which is one reason why I think it's coming in just a couple of weeks. I guess you could say it pays to stalk Frank on Twitter because uh, once again, <laughs> this information's coming from a response from Frank on Twitter. And he said that balance changes will not be happening until the next update. Now we know that Carl desperately needs a buff like really bad and we know that Pam desperately really needs a nerf. And despite my video, we still have a lot of people calling for a crow buff, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I think that it's likely that we'll have an update pretty soon because of just that. But on top of that, we have some more information. Now, just under two weeks ago, Ryan sent out a tweet saying that we would not see Brawl Talk for at least a couple of weeks. Well, a couple of weeks 
was a couple of weeks ago. So I'm thinking we're going to see Brawl Talk next week, and then we'll have an update the week after that. If I were to make a guess, I would say Tuesday, April 23rd. Now that is total speculation, so... Don't get mad at me if it doesn't happen, guys. I think it's gonna be sometime around then. Also in Brawl news, I'm going to guess that the next Brawler that's going to be released, we know that Frank was testing one out, so we know that one is coming in this next update. At least, we should be at least getting one Brawler in this next update. And I'm going to guess that that Brawler, at least one of the Brawlers, is going to be a Time Traveler. Now that's not just like a random guess, okay? So when Frank was asked when the next update was going to be released, he responded by saying, Hi! I am the new update. I am a time traveler from the future. Now this could be an absolute total joke. Like he might have just been like, oh, this would be kind of a funny thing to do. But what if the theme for the new brawler coming to Brawl Stars is actually a time traveler? Or what if there's something else that's coming in the next update that has to do with time travel for some reason? I don't know, maybe Going back to Portrait? I doubt we're going back to Portrait. <laughs> when I saw this tweet, I immediately thought of several other games that have some type of like a, a re rewind of time feature added to them or something like that. This could be like maybe a little too complex for Brawl Stars, uh, but it's certainly a mechanic that we haven't seen in Brawl Stars before. And recently, all of the Brawlers that we've received have had some sort of new mechanic. And so it'd be interesting to see a time traveler uh, type theme. While they're at it, they could just add uh, this as the brawler's artwork. Yeah, that's right. You gotta love the time traveling Kairos time. I mean, I'd be fine being put into the game as a time traveler. Okay, I'll, I'll quit it with the time jokes. Well, maybe I won't. In other news, someone found Spike hiding in real life. I gotta be honest, he looks a lot less cuddly than I expected him to look. And unfortunately, we're still on the lookout for his girlfriend. Sakura, I imagine she's probably a lot more cuddly than he is. Also, something very exciting coming to Brawl Stars is that it is going to be released in China. Now, China has been very strict recently about which apps they will allow to be released in the App Store. That's why Brawl Stars actually was not released during the global launch, along with a few other countries like some in the Middle East, like Iran. Now, while this won't actually make a massive impact on uh, a lot of the current viewers that are watching this video right now, I do think it's going to be interesting to see how this is actually going to impact the game in the future, especially because a MOBA style game like Brawl Stars, I can only imagine would be a massive hit over in China. From the sounds of it, Brawl Stars has been experimenting with 3D in their replays. Here's some gameplay that somebody procured and when asked about it, Frank said, it's just a custom camera setting we experimented with, so no worries. This is certainly an interesting concept, but because Frank actually responded to it, I don't think that it's actually a leak to what's coming up, especially because he just said that they were experimenting with something. I doubt that this will actually make its way into Brawl Stars, but it's at least interesting. I could imagine this being used for some type of like a, a quick kill cam. Uh, if you want to have a kill cam in the video, you know, after you kill somebody, you get to see it at a cool new aspect, or you see the cool plays of the match. Actually, that sounds pretty cool. I, that sounds like something I'd be interested in. So, yeah. Come on, Supercell, let's bring it into the game! In other news, it seems as though some more Brawl Stars merchandise is uh, making its way towards being released to the public. Check out this giant teddy bear Bruce in the Brawl Stars office. I absolutely love that. In this picture, Frank is showing a Lego Bastion from Overwatch. In the background, we can actually see a Colt statue as well. And here's some really cool pins on one of Ryan's suitcases when he was traveling. I also have some exclusive merch that's not available for sale yet, like this Brawl Stars hat, and even some cool little Brawl stickers. Also at the ESL Brawl Stars tournament event, Lex and I have, had Ryan throw us um, a couple of different Nita Bears. One was the panda skin, one was the regular skin. They were smaller stuffed animals, as well as a really cool Nita hat that you can put on. Then we had to give them back to Ryan. They were so soft too. <laughs> now we don't actually have any uh, estimated time that uh, we'll actually be being able to purchase some of this Brawl Stars merchandise. Talking to Ryan in one of my trips to Finland, it was actually interesting to hear how long they actually have to go into preparing for stuff like that. G going over prototype after prototype after prototype before they're actually able to mass produce them. In fact, the Spike plushie that I'm holding right now was only available for sale like 
almost an entire year after we streamed the global launch stream when we actually got to hold the first spike prototype and it was nothing like this like they looked kind of similar, but this is actually very different than the one that uh, that we had. I really can't wait for some more Brawl Stars merchandise. I have no idea when we're going to be able to see some of this stuff, but it's cool to see a lot of these different things starting to, like, pop up. And they're they're really hyping it up for us. I want one of those giant teddy bears in my, in my living room, Ryan. Come on. Just take my money. Now, this isn't really Brawl news, but a couple of weeks ago, I posted this image on my community page asking which frozen yogurt was mine and which one was Lady Kairos's. If you guessed the one with all the candy on the left, yeah, that was mine. <laughs> and the Thunderstruck12 who said that on one of my videos, I said I was left-handed. I never said that I'm right-handed, so I don't know what, where you came up with that. You got over 900 likes on your comment for that, though, so that's interesting. Like I said earlier, if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you don't already have the notification bell turned on, make sure you do turn that on so that as soon as I have the dev build and I'm allowed to give you guys some, some uh, sneak peeks and some news on the next Brawl Stars update that you guys will not miss it. As soon as I have it and I'm allowed to share it, guys... I'll be giving it to you guys, so uh, just wait for that. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Brawl News. If you guys find any Brawl News that you think would be worth sharing, make sure you tag me on Twitter so I do not miss it. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.